Okay, um, um, I'm here today with Jean Batty, and Jean Batty, mm -hmm. well I've known you for years, yeah. um, and, and been in the same genre or the area of what you work in, but yeah. uh, you're like the engineer, I'm the oily rag, so that's why I'm here today <laughs> to understand about your spiritual pathway, yeah. because for you, I, 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 from what you've said, it's been a real discovery, probably from early childhood. Yeah. Can yeah. you tell me when the, the, you know, the first time you were getting spiritual experiences or seeing things? Um, I suppose when I was first getting them, I didn't actually realise what they was because I thought everybody was the same. Right. Because I've never not had it. Yeah. And um, one of the very first ones when my mum and dad started to realise was I came down and told my mum that her mum had just gone over my nan. Right. And uh, my mum said, you shouldn't say that because she lived in Ireland. All right. And I said, no, I've just been talking to her upstairs. She's gone to heaven. And I actually got told off because I'm not being Irish. Out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, um, and within half an hour, she got the call right. that she had gone over, you know, and it was like you wasn't supposed to talk about it then. No, no. You know, um, I think my mum thought like I had something evil because that's how they saw it. They yes. didn't see it. So did they treat you any different after that experience? Did they sort of bit more cautious or did they want to find out more? My dad did. My dad, a typical, typical Cockney, he right. wanted to know everything. All right. But he would do it when my mum wasn't there. He'd All say, right. right, who can you see now? Oh, who right. can you see now? Um, but my mum, we had to completely blank Taboo. it was happening. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And what sort of age were you when you experienced this? I must have only been about four, about four years wow. old. You know, when that happened. So was that frightening to you at that sort of age? No, because I, I'd already seen other people. But right. I never, it was only that it was my nan. Yes. And because she had gone to heaven, it wasn't a problem. I'd, I'd never looked on that as a bad place. Right. And because I, I've always seen people, and especially the first one around me was Mr. Butters. And, um, and I used to call him and my mum used to... Hate it, so tell me a little bit, sorry to interrupt you, but tell no. me a bit more about Mr Butters. Well Mr Butters, which is a very funny name, okay. which you wouldn't normally have, yes. but he was the one that was around us all the time. Yes. He's the first one I remember. And how old were you then? I don't know. Really young? I was so young. You I were frightened? No, no, not at all. Uh, I would have if he had done something nasty to me, but he didn't. He right. was like a friend. All right. And I was, I suppose, there was eight of us. And I was a bit of an outsider with everybody. I was more of the quiet, shy one. Right. And um, which I was for a long time, even when you first knew me. Yes. I'd be the one to sit at the back of the room. Yeah. Because I didn't need other people. No. I had plenty of people I could see around me. And I knew if they told me something, I knew it was right. Right. So and you trusted them implicitly? Oh, completely. So you never got the wrong information? No, never, wow. ever. And, um, and because I used to say to my mum, no, I know I'm right with this, it caused affliction because she used to say, no, you're not right all the time. I said, no, I know I'm right with this. And it got so stupid that if I had <laughs> lost something and got told off, yes. I used to ask them to find it for me. Yes. You know, I'd say, come find, find my shoe, I was, I'm yeah. going to get into trouble. And I could guarantee within 10 minutes I'd, that shoe, I'd know exactly you where know it was. You know where it is, because that came in as a thought? Yeah, it comes in like, oh, I know where I've got to look. Yes, and then I went there intuitive. And it, yeah. yeah, yeah. and that still happens today if I've lost something. <laughs> I always ask them to find it for me. Yeah. And, and the, if they don't want me to do anything, like, for instance, if I'm not well, yes. and I'm not supposed to work, I can guarantee I will not get work. You know? You mean the phone won't, won't ring? The phone won't ring. It goes quiet. Nothing. You know. So they I even mean, manage your calls. A bit yeah. like having an agent. Yeah. So as you grew up from the early experience, how did you cope with this with the outside world as you as you became a young lady and a teenager? Um, and, and how did you sort of manifest, if, I, if that's the term to use, to make it the skill set that you've got now, that very natural? I never actually planned to be a medium or work as a medium. Okay. I never thought I would do that. Yeah. It was just... I, if someone was hurting, people would just come to me. Like there was a missing girl once, mm. and um, and this was going back years. I must have been, I don't know, about thirty, I suppose. And um, her daughter had gone missing. Yes. And I don't know how she knew to come to me, but she did mm. to ask me was her daughter okay. And I said, yes, she's fine. I said, you will hear from her. I said, she has gone away with a friend, that you know it, mm. it won't work out, and she'll come back. And um, and she did. She got yes. her back, you know. So people have just seemed to be drawn to me. And would you call it a gift, or do, how do you see it? I don't see it as a gift. I think it's something that everybody's got. Just yes. some people see them more than others. Uh, 
and because it's something I've always had, mm. in actual fact, sometimes it can be not a gift. It can be the other way. Right. You know, sometimes it's like you want to be on your own and you have to say, look, enough's enough. Now, is that the people coming into your life requesting help or is that spirit coming around when you're having a relaxing evening? Uh, it's more the people on the earth, to be honest, oh, right, than so it is the spirits. They just yeah. want yeah. and want of your... Yeah your ability yeah uh, and would you class yourself as a spiritual medium or a psychic medium what would you class yourself as or don't you class yourself? i don't class myself okay. as anything. i'm just gene i yeah. don't class but, but myself. you're giving spiritual messages you're giving spiritual guidance yeah. you're finding people so yeah. you, you know when i when i do a place and everything i say to people look i'm not here to preach the bible i'm you know although yeah. i'm catholic right i'm not very good as you know i'm not yes. good with addresses and things i said it's just me but yes. when I do the mediumship, I am working with two worlds to bring them together. Yes. And that's all I'm doing. I said, it's your loved ones coming through that mm. wants to talk to you, yeah. not me. Right. So I'm just there as a tool that is helping them to talk together. Good. That's it. And for those who don't know, is this um, an ability you've developed or, or it's just um, um, it's blossomed like a, a flower or a rose? It's, I think it's... They decide when you're going to work, not you. Right. And I think they decided I had to work with it. Right. Because it was always the same there. Yes. Um, I just didn't use it as much as I do now. Yeah. And like I said, I've done work for the police and all. So it's like, it, they just decided. Right. And that whatever, I don't advertise, I don't put nothing out there. No. It comes to me. Sort of word of mouth yeah. type. Or yeah. Maybe a few spiritual connections that bring yeah, people yeah. into it's, your It always just comes pathway. to me. I've never, mm. It's not nothing I've had to work at. Yeah. You know, so it's just the way it is. And you're an excitable, happy person, aren't you? In, in oh, yeah. In the way that you are. Yeah. So you must love what you do. Oh, yeah, I do. I love it because you can't get a better feeling than when someone has been really down, depressed, something's going on in their life and yeah. they can't sort it out. And to see that person go away, being yeah. happy, yeah. makes you feel happy yourself. Yeah. What you give out, you get back. So, with people's level of understanding or not level of understanding, do they try and test you sometimes? Yeah, yeah. I've had people come in with their glasses and scarfs around the necks. So you can't see their face because they think they're going to give something away. Oh, right. You know, and <laughs> you know, you sit there and you, it's nothing to do with their face no, no, and no. the way they look at you. It's just their insecurities or lack of knowledge or yeah. trust in what you're doing. And then you say something and then all of a sudden you see the glasses coming off and the scarf coming off and they're like looking at you as if so. How could you have known that? Right. Because I'll give the, either their animals' names, if a dog comes in or something, I'll yeah. say, I've got so-and-so here. Yes. Or a person. Right. And I can describe them because I see them. Yeah. And so, how do you... Sorry to interrupt, but how do you see them? Do, do they appear in front of you or is it in the mind's eye? These for, for, no, no, no. I see them just like seeing you. All oh, right. So I see them. They sort of come in. Right. Um, and often or not, if I'm doing a haul or something... You'll, you'll actually see a door open and, and you and know well, that's happened at yes, a bank Bancroft, yes. and you actually see the door open <laughs> and I'm looking thinking someone's get ready to take a seat yes. and then realise it's spirit because they have a light around them right you know um, it's not like you see through them or anything no, like no, no, that no. you see it, they're them as solid as, yeah. as you're seeing yeah. myself in the yeah. room that's how I've always seen them wow you know so I can say I say to them in my head I suppose because it's not fully out. Yeah. Not when you're working. Yeah. But when you could be here. Yeah. Um, it can be that loud. I've had it where my kids have heard it. Wow. You know where we've come in and someone's gone hello and we've looked all over the house and there's no one there. Wow. Yeah. And everybody's heard it. We've had that and all in the hall. Right. So they can be loud, but when it's you're doing it either as a reading or you're doing it as doing a show. Yes. Then it's all the contact is within your head. Right. So as you're talking to them, they're, they're telling, telling you. you. Yeah. yeah. Because so. I suppose because you work very fast as a medium, it's mm. quite exceptional and quite fantastic that you do. Mm. Um, and if you get distracted by people walking around who are spirit people, mm. you 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 are very fast with your with your messages how others should be. So it's yeah dynamic. because that's the way they work it. Because yes. If I'm doing a haul, the yes. way it works is they're normally at the back of me. Yes. Right. And then as I, I know who I'm going to go to before I finish wow. the, the next reading because just that person is there. And it's like tunnel vision. Well, all right. It's like I don't see other people walking around the room. I no. don't see all the faces sitting there. Mm. I just go into tunnel vision and then I see a light and I think, right, that's, I need to go there next. 
So if we think about people who have had experiences but don't know how to develop it, what, what would you recommend for them to do? I would say it's very much like a lot of people say, do you know, I had a feeling that was going to happen. I've got mm. a gut feeling about yeah. that. That is them working with you, actually, and it's yes. learning to open up that and use that. Yeah. Don't think, oh, well, I've had that, but I'm not going to listen to it. Yeah. Then it will go wrong. But if you actually always use that, yeah. you would always be led the right way. Yeah, because people often say about having a gut feeling about somewhere yeah. or something, and, and it's usually those chakras two yeah. and three that are running, um, or some people describe it as that inner voice. Yeah, that's right. These are always the first ones that you feel that everybody's mm. got. You know, or someone will walk past you and you think, oh, I don't like them, yes. but you don't know why. Yeah. You know, you, you don't know them at all, no. but you know you don't like that There's person. There's something yeah. not compatible with you. Yeah. So, uh, you know, in essence, are you feeling a, a balance or a, a unbalance between the energies, the aura? I mean, that's actually saved me a few times by that happening. Well. You know, because where you know someone's following you. Right. You, you know, you just you know. You sense it. it, yes. Yeah, you don't know how you know what no. you're doing you know it's dangerous yes as you go forward how long have you been doing this work now as a working medium since the time i walked into bancroft really so that's almost 15 to 20 years ago about 20 years yeah. yes yeah and have you seen your work change obviously your workload is great mm. there's always calls coming in there's always people wanting something from that whether mm. it's and you did mention the police so obviously mm. Um, they will pull upon your services is that for finding people it could be for all different things it could be missing people yeah it could be something to do with a crime where they got an idea or it is they don't tell you no, no, they no. just sort of give you pictures and things yeah and you just tell them what you see right you and then know? they go away and work on and they go the away. information you've given yeah yeah I mean one particular one I had was um, they brought me in about five pictures, and I picked two pictures out, and I said, this involves these people. Yeah. And they said, yeah, what are you picking up? I said, well, I feel like it's the girl that is either missing or something, and they said, yes. I said, I don't know where she is. It's all I'm seeing is yellow bags, like industrial bags. Wow. And, um, and they said to me, we know exactly where she is now. The man worked in a hospital, and it's waste in the hospital. Oh, my goodness. And they, they found her and then they could solve the case. Wow. But they said they would not have known to look there. No. You know. Were they a bit of guidance, yeah. spiritual guidance? Yeah. So have you seen now, if we're looking ahead in, your role changing? Uh, has it changed? Or, or, or the core of your work has been fairly much the same? Uh, is it no, it has changed. It's, it's uh, a lot more in depth now. I do a lot more different things. Right. Like yeah. the police work. Yes. You know, and... Um, and I, I do think that people think that you can just, oh, you can see through walls. Right. You know, I, I've, I've had people phone me up to ask me, was anybody in a room with their boyfriend? And they're outside. So this almost... So people think that, you know, you know everything. It's almost like remote vision yeah. or remote travelling, actual yeah. travelling, all that sort of stuff. So yeah. they're, they're using it for the wrong reasons then, some of them. Some of them are. Some yeah, because it are. becomes more of a psychic... How much money has he got in his bank account? All those sort of things yeah. that we've seen in the past. Yeah, and, and, yet, and believe it or not, you do get asked those questions. Yes, yes. You know, um, uh, one of the ones I, I really felt good about was actually it was on my 60th birthday. Right. And um, someone from India phoned me up mm. and said, "Jim, our daughter's missing. Yes. We want you to help us find her. Yeah. She had gone to. They do this charity thing where they give them all a dinner for the day. Yes. And the uncle had done this yes and I said well there's three of them and she said no 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 she said, it's only two we know no of two I said no there's three girls I said and the uncle has still got them they're upstairs but if you're not there within half an hour them girls will be gone and they went straight round and they phoned me up and they said Jean we found them wow so I, I see it like like watching a film yes you know I've never been to India but no. I, I like it's almost like you're walking around yeah and I could see the three girls and there was three girls you don't have to be at a place no to be able to see it it's almost, it's almost like you, you travel see over there yeah yeah wow but it, you got to also stop putting your own opinions over yes because you could have someone come and you think about what they're telling you and think, yeah. oh, that's awful. Yeah. But you you don't do that. No, no. It's, it's almost like you've got to take yourself out of detached that. Detached a little bit. And and think, right, look, this is important to her. Yes. You know, so you, you take yourself away from that. Yeah, so, so you you, you're, you're 
personal views don't get it don't interacted matter. with it. You're and giving that information yeah. and asking if they understand it. Yeah, and it's like emotion. I mean, you could be getting the most emotional thing. And, I mean, I used to get my mum say to me, you know, you've got no emotion in you, yeah. you know, because you, you learn to hold that back. Yes. You just hold that back. So you don't get your, it involved with the no. message. And as soon as it's gone, as soon as you've done the message, it's like... That's it. Yes. You, you Job done. Yeah, you don't Brush carry that with next. you. It's yes. done. And then the yeah. next one. Because you're giving them the responsibility for the message, aren't you? Yeah. Would you yeah. understand why this is happening? And you're yeah. giving all the information they need, and that's it. Yeah. You're the, the post lady yeah. of the spiritual world, and yeah. you're giving that information. So if someone's walking this path, and having these gut feelings, are, are we sort of recommending that they go to development circles, meditation groups to develop that side if they wish to? I would say... When I first went into it, the first thing I'd done was actually come to the medium church yeah. and actually saw people Do, doing it, you know, mediums. and from there I wanted to go to a medium circle, Yeah. you know, and I think, do it slowly, don't rush into it, no. because if you rush into it, you'll pull away from it, Yes. just do it slowly and spirit will decide when you do that, because yeah. you also get the ones that they think they've got every gift that's yes. on the earth, Absolutely. you know, and... Um, but they desperately want it, but they're trying to run too fast. Yeah. And I say, you know, you've got to balance your whole life out, not just your spiritual life. That's right. You've got to do your personal life too, because yeah. if that's unbalanced, you're not going to go anywhere yeah. spiritually. I think yeah. you looking so happy, you, you, you must find some balance in it, I guess. Well, I find since I've been doing this, my life has changed completely right. from the first time I walked into that church. Yes. You know, completely different person. I'm more positive. Um, I'm more outgoing, yeah. I've got so many friends around me, yes. you know, and um, I think it changes you, it makes you different. Because you're being of service, aren't yeah. you? Yeah, yeah. And, and, and it's almost karmic in, it, in its way. Yeah. Where well, you feel really happy because you feel good. You, money can't buy that. No. It's a happiness no. that I've seen you just blossom over the years. Yeah. With the energy that you give, and it rubs off on the people that, that you yeah. work with. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, the amount of people when they leave, they say, God, I feel a hundred times better. Yeah. I feel like something's been lifted, lifted off the load, me. Lifted the isn't it? Yes. You know, and it is. And uh, and uh, to a point, a lot of it is almost like counselling. And with a little and bit of help from spirit, maybe. And someone talking to them or, or being able to talk to their mum yeah. to say, look, this is going to be okay. Yeah. And sometimes that's all it needs. Yeah. You know, and that would make that person feel a hundred times better. Yeah, it's wonderful. You even make me feel happy just talking about it, <laughs> seeing how happy you are. Yeah. And, that, I, that is, and we don't see each other very often. But, no. But just to have that connection and just yeah. to hear what you say just inspires me mm. to realise that what, what a great ability, I nearly said gift again, great ability yeah. it has, that if you treat it with respect... Yeah. and you work at it yeah. and you develop it in the right places yeah. then your life will be absolutely fabulous yeah I, I completely trust in it because I've always had it yeah. and it's always helped me Jean I, I, I'm, I'm excited because I've been able to speak to you today yeah. it's been years since I've spoken to yeah, you we've done time. something similar but I'm inspired by what you do and I hope others are too so thank you so much for today that's wonderful that's been lovely thank you for that been thank absolutely you. lovely thank you very much <laughs> explain it to people for saying it's a universal energy force that uh, is naturally radiating to our bodies and we're now connecting to the patterns of energy that's in your body and making the difference um, to that person it realigns their energy fields their chakras and everything else uh, in that particular vein